Good morning, Marshfield. Welcome to this edition of Before the Bells. I am um, Grace Clenty. I'm Vera Hardenberg. That is just pure, you're utter happiness. Colin Doyle. Colin Doyle, you're amazing. That's, <laughs> that, is, that is what it's all about. It is. As you know, it is Project Positivity Week. Today is Wear Your Favorite Color Wednesday. Okay, and I am wearing my favorite color. I am also. Black, gray, which one? Red. Red, of course, of <laughs> course. Also, guys, Thursday is Write a Note Thursday with cards available at all lunches. I and, will be writing multiple letters. And um, tomorrow is also someone's birthday on this desk, and it is Farrah Hardenberg, so you know you can write a letter to Farrah tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Rounding it out on Friday, Flower Friday, flowers will be handed out walking into school. That's everything. What could be better? You walk wow. in on a Friday morning and someone literally, literally gives, gives you flowers. You flower. I'd cry on the spot, guys. Me too. If you want to see Friday before vacation, literally you get flowers. Oh my god. And you can put it in a little teapot. Maybe give it give it to your mom when you get home. Make her day. In our second announcement of the day, Key Club will be holding a general meeting tomorrow, February today. Yep. February sixteenth <laughs> at two o'clock in the auditorium. Email Mrs. Tracy with any questions. Key Club I wonder if they make actual keys in there. I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys. Also, the AFS Club. They will meet after school today, Wednesday, in room 332. All are welcome. Um, quick apology. AFS is not ASL Club. It is not sign language. It is about something about foreign countries. So Slight, slight mix up there. Yeah. So I think I should go to the club to learn about we're it. We're revising ourselves. And you so. should go there too. Yeah. We're in Yeah. We are, we are in a little bit of a rush today. So yes. we have to announce lunch. Lunch. Oh my God. Chicken, broccoli, ziti. Wow. Let's wow. go. Let's <laughs> go. And let's send it to sports. Good morning, Marshfield. Today we got a lot on the show. A lot oh, of girls yeah. hockey, a lot of boys Lots hockey, of a lot of basketball, a lot of wrestling, Donnie Doyle. Of gymnastics. He looks good back there. He does look he? really good. Dirty Don. Girls hockey earned a gigantic two to one win over Hingham on Saturday on senior night. We have a highlight reel and field report from the game. So let's send it to those. Let's see. Don Ellison reporting here with the Marshfield girls hockey team after a huge 2-1 win against a tough Hingham team. Hannah, what did you do to prepare this week for the game? I think ever since we lost, we were trying to get redemption on them, and we've been working hard in practice all week, especially because we knew it was a senior game. Right, thank you. And Kara, what were you looking forward to tonight about being your senior night? Um, just time on the ice, basically. And, like, the whole team was hyped because we were prepared for senior night. Came out roaring. Right. Huge win. Let's send it back to the desk. Any day that the Rams are winning yep. and the Hangham's losing, I it's love a good day. that. I'm not a fan of Hangham, and I'm a big fan of Marshfield. Always so that's Marshfield. Great. 
Well, in other hockey news, boys hockey had an incredible weekend. Things started off with a 2 nothing win over Duxbury on Saturday. Time out, time out. That's a season sweep over Duxbury. Oh, yep, Continue. it is, it is. And you'll see those goals here as we explain the rest. After completing the season sweep over the Dragons on Saturday, the Rams played Hingham on Sunday for the championship game of the Ed Burns Coffee Pot Tournament. Despite being the lowest seed in the tournament, the Rams upset the entire bracket and took home the title with a 6-5 comeback win in double overtime. Colin Doyle had a hat trick in the game. Rylan McLean and Will Doherty also scored. Cam McGetrick buried the double overtime game winner. Let's see the highlights of that. Shout out Dirty Dawn. It was always Dirty Holding Dawn. Up the Donnie hard Dispo. Way. Donnie it Dispo, was Dirty Dawn. It was always Dirty Dawn. Let's go. Let's see the highlights. Hemingway across, trying to get it to McGetrick. Good bounce from Marshfield. McGetrick lines it up and scores! McGetrick from Hemingway! And Marshfield wins it! And they come pouring off the bench. You're good as gold, you're right as rain. You're good as gold, you're right Great job, boys, bringing home the trophies to Marshfield. That's what we like to see. It's a big win, great for the rankings. Knocked off three very good teams oh, in that yeah. tournament. They, they had no chance against us. Hey, though. they had Let's us last, and where did we come? First. That's how it is. Ain't That's how Marshfield though. is. Gymnastics had their senior meet at the Patriot League Championship meet Saturday. Oren Masterson caught up with some of the seniors after their final competition as a team. And we have a few report and some highlights queued up, so let's roll. Let's see it. All right, I'm here with girls gymnastics after a huge senior night and Patriot League championship. Ava, you had a, a great performance on vault today. What goes into the preparation uh, on a huge stage like this? Um, well, since it was my first time competing this vault, I was like a little nervous because I hadn't ever done it. But this week, I got a lot of reps in at practice and tried my hardest to like get it down. And yeah. good stuff, Callie. This was your first competition on floor on such a huge stage. How did you prepare in such short notice for your first ever time on floor? Um, we've never had a spot filled on floor. So um, I guess I took it because it was my senior night. Um, I just spent the last two days working hard and forming a floor routine, which was kind of scary, but I ended up pulling it off. All right, Jess, senior captain here at senior night for gymnastics. What were the emotions behind uh, potentially your last meet? What goes into it? Um, obviously as a senior meet, it's really bittersweet because I've been doing gymnastics for so long, but I'm super proud of the team and what they've accomplished and can't wait to see what they do next year. And Haley, I know you've been hurt recently, but what's it like being able to support your team in a different way and uh, cheer them on all day, especially on your senior night? It's definitely awesome to watch everyone just improve and get better scores each time. And it's just awesome to be here to support everyone. All right, guys, send it to the highlight. Well, we don't have a high, or do we? No. I don't think we do. Oh, and come on now. You can't be doing that. 
All right, well, in other news, we also have boys basketball. They had their senior night last night. They fought off the challenge from a hard Silver Lake team to come back 54-52. We have a field report from that game, so let's see it. What up, Marshfield? I'm Brady, here after a huge 54-52 win over Silver Lake. It was senior night, USA theme, and the boys killed it, for sure. Let me start with seniors, Aiden Wallen and Liam McLaughlin. Guys, how much does senior night mean to you, like having your friends, family come out and support you guys? Uh, yeah, you know, it's just, it's just great to see all the hard work after four years pay off, and it was just a really fun time to come out here and get the win. It was awesome. It was, it was electric. Now that's what it was, electric. Connor Walton, the man, the myth, the legend. He's so tall that when they tried to throw it in, that last possession, boop, nothing. Nothing. Sure. Get that out of here. Yes, Connor, sir. that was awesome. What was going through your head when that throughout that play? So um, really throughout the game and like after the start of the game, we had a really rough patch and we knew that in order to get back in it, we have to play really good defense. So the focus shifted from just from trying to score and tr to really just trying to stop Silver Lake from getting from getting their offense going. So just focus on defense, you know, get deflections, get blocks, whatever you can. Awesome. Do you see how high I had to put the mic to get it to him? It's so tall. Boys, Silver Lake, you guys beat them easy the first game, and they gave you a tougher time. What did they do differently, and how are you guys still able to come up on top? I feel like they pushed the pace a lot more today, mm -hmm. but we just made adjustments, got back on defense, started to play hard. Just glad yeah. we got the W. Yeah. I mean, close, close wins are the best wins when it's, it gives a good, a good time for the fans. Uh, send it back to the desk. Royal Rams roll. Another win. Yeah. Let's go. Well, that's all we have for today. We'd like to shout out uh, Donnie Does. Donnie Does. Playoff Donnie. Stinky Don. Stinky Don. It was always Don. It was always Playoff Don. It's always calling.